long, long ago. Far, far away, before there was rain, and even before there was a Lion King, there was a man, and his name was Noah. <laughs> Hi, I am Noah 2000. I really didn't know they enjoyed it that much, but clearly, all right. Long, long ago, I knew a grandfather and his grandson. His name was Benjamin Roman. And one day, Benjamin Roman was sitting with his grandpa, and he had a look on his face, and he looked up at his grandpa, and he said, Grandpa, at church, there are a group of boys and girls. They're my friends, but they asked me to do something that, that I know is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do when I see them next week. His grandpa scratched his head, tried to figure out what could I tell him, he decided to tell him this little story. He said, Benjamin Roman, I know of a story too. I have a hand and the story is about five fingers. You're gonna have to use your imagination, Benjamin Roman, but it goes a little something like this and you don't even have to put them up if you don't want to. There were five fingers who were friends. They did everything together. They would work together. They would play together. They would even do their chores together. Well, this hand of five fingers who stood all side by side, all together, one day they were resting on a table when they spied a gold ring. That means they saw a gold ring. Then the first finger, that's the index finger, he said, oh, wow, what a shiny ring. Finger number two, he said, it would look good on me. That's the middle finger. You have to be careful with that one. Then the third finger, he said, let's take it. Well, that's the ring finger. And then the last one, he said, quick, quick, while nobody's looking. Uh, that's pinky. Well, they decided they would do it. And as the hand began to move forward towards that ring, the fifth finger said, wait. That's the thumb. He said, we shouldn't do that. The other finger said, well, Who's going to know? Who's going to know? He said, no one's going to know, but to take something that doesn't belong to us is wrong. Stealing is wrong, and we shouldn't do it. Well, the others looked at him, and they began to tease him. They laughed at him. They said, ooh, you're a goody-goody, said the first finger, also called index. Oh, what? You're just afraid, said the middle finger. You have to be careful with that one. Uh, you're just mad because the ring won't fit you, said ring finger. And the last one said, we thought you were more fun than that. Th that's a little pinky. We thought that you were our friend. Thumb said, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. Stealing is wrong, and I'm not going to do it. Well, the other fingers looked at him, and again, they just laughed and laughed, and they decided, we're going to leave you. We're walking away, and as they walk away, um, they said, you can't hang around us anymore. You can't be our friend. They went over that way. You can see the four fingers over there. Then as they went away, we're near the end. They thought that Thumb would come after them begging to be their friend. But you know what Thumb did? He stood up. He stood fast. He knew it was wrong to steal, and he didn't go after them. And even though he was right there by himself all alone, or so it seemed, he knew the right thing to do was to stand fast. And as Grandpa finished that story, um, little Benjamin Roman said, Grandpa, did that really happen? Can fingers really talk? Is that why they're separated like that? And Grandpa said, well, not really. It has to do more with God, creation, and biology. But for the story... Benjamin Roman, and the lesson I need you to know is when you go back to church next week and you see those boys and girls who want you to do something that you know is wrong, 
you remember that you have to stand fast, even if it means standing alone. Now, boys and girls, that lesson is also true for you, too. Now, whether it's at church, whether it's at school, or whether it's at play, if someone asks you to do something that you know is wrong, always remember to stand up and stand fast. I want you all to close your eyes and bow your head, and Uncle Minnie will pray that you remember that lesson today. Dear Jesus, I thank you for all the boys and girls who sit right in front of me. Thank you for the lesson in today's story that if anyone asks them to do something wrong, even if it's a group of so-called friends, that they should stand up and stand fast, which means to do the right thing even if others aren't doing it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.